lots of gratitude and lots of memories to be made in this newfound appreciation for life. Isang malungkot na balita, sumakabilang buhay na ang dating actress, TV host, model, at content creator na si Jamie Joaquin. Pumanaw ang dating ABS-CBN at star magic talent nito lang October 18, 2023 sa batang edad na 44, matapos ang matagal na pakikipaglaban sa breast cancer. Unang inanunsyo ang pagpanaw ni Jamie sa pamamagitan ng kanyang Facebook page at post ng kanyang matalik na kaibigang si Fides, B.A., Ibinahagi nito ang larawan ni Jamie, kalakip ang mensaheng, or dearest Jamie Tupasho, also known as Jamie Joaquin. Jamie Wins officially became an angel today. You've lived the most beautiful life, Jamie. You will be greatly missed on this planet. Sa larawang ibinahagi mababasa dito ang celebrating the life of Jamie J. Tupasho, Jamie Joaquin, Jamie Wins. July 27, 1979, petsa kung kailan siya isinilang. At October 18, 2023, ang kanya namang pagpanaw. Agad naman bumuhos ng mensahe ng pakikiramay sa social media para sa pamilyang naulila ng dating star magic talent. Unang nakilala ng publiko si Jamie sa pamamagitan ng midnight game show ng EBS-CBN na Games of Late Live, siya ang nagpasikat sa salitang kabagang. Naging bahagi rin siya ng ilang kapamilya serye gaya ng Bora noong 2005 at Ligaw na Bulaklak noong 2008. At naging bahagi rin siya ng ilang pelikula sa Star Cinema. Ilang beses din siyang naging cover girl ng FHM. Taong 2016 nang madiagnose si Jamie na may stage 2 breast cancer. Simula nito naging aktibo na si Jamie sa social media sa pagbabahagi ng kanyang journey bilang cancer patient sa pamamagitan ng kanyang YouTube channel na may titulong Jamie Wins. November 2022, I was admitted for two weeks at the hospital. I have super swollen legs and belly. I couldn't eat anymore. I couldn't sleep properly. I was just having a hard time breathing. I can't even function without gasping for air. I was on oxygen. I was so tired at that time that I just wanted to say, you know what? I give up. But instead of using the word give up, I prayed for acceptance. I just wanted to accept whatever it is that he wanted me to accept. Whether it's continue to live or accept the next adventure of my soul, which is to go past physical. With the grace of God, I'm still here and every single day I wake up is now a magic for me. And I've definitely started digging deep in terms of my sole purpose because before I think I just focus on my personality purpose. Personality purpose is what you're naturally good at. I'm good at the camera, I like talking to people, I like creating things but the sole purpose is actually more of what are you made in this earth to do. So now I really took the vow to take sharing my story very seriously because I know that a lot of people will be inspired by hearing that even if you get these scary moments in life and you think there's no more hope and then suddenly you're given this chance to continue and you should not take anything for granted from here on. So now I wake up and I breathe well. My hands and feet are moving. I can see. I can talk. That's more than enough. More than enough. And I want to make sure that I spend the day with mindfulness. I wake up and thinking, how can I serve today? How can I honor life today? Whether it's taking care of myself or taking care of other people or sharing my story, sharing my creativity. Every day to me is an opportunity to give, to share, to inspire, to create. The hair has lessened, but the fighting spirit stayed strong. Now I'm fully committed and focused to creating my legacy projects and really focusing 100% on my healing. Yes, it's good to give back, but it's also important to make sure that you are full and you have enough resources for yourself before you put out to other people. Lots of gratitude and lots of memories to be made in this newfound appreciation for life. <laughs>